Bill Kai. I'm here, mate. How how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm very, very good. So I just wanted to have a chat with you, really, about kind of what you've been up to and what you've been doing, because it's time for everybody at the moment. So give me a feeling of kind of what's your, what does your day look like at the moment? Uh, I mean, it's quite difficult, uh, to be honest. Obviously, staying all day home, uh, maybe just going out for a walk for uh, half an hour. Uh, makes everything a little bit tough, especially when you don't have the choice really to do something, you know. So, um, obviously, I try to keep myself fit, um, which is the main thing I'm doing right now. So, we got training plans from the club, individual plans, uh, which nearly every day um, insists um, sessions, um, whether it's a, a gym session with strength or a cardio session on the bike. Um, yeah, and that's that's mainly what I'm doing. And apart from that, um, I try to try to watch some Netflix. Uh, I, I I cook a little bit. Um, recently, I started to cook also a little bit healthier again. The first uh, few days um, of quarantine was was quite difficult to be honest. So I I got a lot of sweets into myself, a bit frustrating. Um, yeah, but now um, I think um, I start getting a rhythm again. And uh, I can't wait to, to get out of here and to get out of the pitch again. So, obviously, you're away from your teammates at the moment. I mean, who are you in contact with the most? Which, which City players are you speaking to the most at the moment? Uh, I would say Leroy the most. Um, of course, we have also a group chat where all the players uh, take part, um, participate. But um, I do see Leroy um, nearly every second day. Um, we have a gym here in the building downstairs at the first floor, which is supposed to be closed, but uh, obviously we can use it, you know, to keep ourselves fit. So um, everybody makes sure that no one else can enter as well, So which is which is great for us. And um, we do our sessions there. So when he finishes, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going there and I'm joining because we have the same trainer that we work with from Germany. So we do see each other in there or we text a little bit. But um, we also try to avo avoid uh, seeing each other too much, to be honest, because he's with his family, he has a little daughter. Um, I'm here in my apartment, so everyone, um, I think, keeps doing, doing his own stuff. So you said you've seen Leroy. How is he? Because we've all missed him a little bit this season. Is, <laughs> he, is he feeling good? Yeah, he's feeling good. Um, it's kind of a... Yeah, weird situation for him, I guess, because um, he was quite close to come back to return. But from from my experience dealing with all the injuries I had, I know that um, especially the first weeks, you know, coming back or being close uh, uh, to be back on the pitch uh, with the team, I know that it's kind of a difficult situation because um, you get different feelings, you know, in your body. And your body has to get used to it again, you know, to, to deal with all the different kind of exercises. And then obviously also with all the trainings. Um, so you can't re be really 100% ready, you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're not in your rhythm. And um, I think Lira was just at that point where he still felt, um, yeah, kind of, kind of weird, kind of not 100% ready. But obviously, uh, mentally, he was uh, so motivated to come back, you know, and uh, to do well. Um, that um, he's also a little bit frustrated that uh, <laughs> we just get um, everything cancelled for the moment. Um, but on the other side, I think also you can use um, the time also right now, you know, to 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 work uh, on the yeah on the on the on the things he struggled with a little bit. Um, and I see him doing doing good exercises in the gym. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a weird situation for him, I guess. So how does it work in a time like this? How, how do the club contact you? And, and do, you, do you feel like the club have been supporting you in, during this period? Yeah, I do think so. I do think that the club was very supportive. Um, Max Seller, who is our doctor, um, sends me a text every day. So he makes sure every day that that I'm okay, and I'm sure he does that. He does the same with the other players. And uh, the club is also there for us. Um, we we just got some uh, gym equipment sent it over, um, so to 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 be able to do even more and even better. 
um, and um, our team manager also makes sure that I'm well, that I'm good. So I try to stay in touch with the physios um, as well. So I think we are all well connected, and we all just wait. Uh, we all just wait uh, to get back. Uh, for those who don't know, you've been doing a little bit of um, charity work in Germany throughout this period. I mean, you've basically set up a shopping delivery service for those who are most in need. And uh, you've sent some care packages to staff who work in intensive care units in a place called Heinsberg in Germany. Can you tell me, firstly, tell me a little bit about that project that you've been involved with? And, and secondly, just what prompted you to, to do that? I mean... Um... The motivation obviously was to help people, to help people, um, yeah, who have a quite difficult uh, time, more difficult than, than, than me, because uh, I do feel privileged even in that difficult time. Um, and Heinsberg is an area that is not so far away from my hometown, to be honest. So it's, 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 it's quite close. And, um, in Germany, it all also began there and uh, escalated quite quickly there. So that was the first, um, first place where we had um, a few cases of, of Corona, to be honest. And the idea was just um, to get back um, to the to the start, right to the start, and um, try to help the people, um, yeah, who are there and um, who are not able to, to, to leave the house anymore, you know, or um, the intensive care uh, stations uh, in, in, in the hospital um, to help these people or to, to just say thank you. And um, that was really the motivation. And um, we started just um, a few days ago, and um, I think uh, we can we can help even more. But uh, what I've recognized is that um, not just only me, and I wasn't even the first one uh, to start with that. Um, I recognized that uh, quite a lot of my colleagues, um, yeah, uh, just started um, to help more and more, you know, and um, to get together. Um, yeah, and that's how we really um, can find a solution, I think, to that problem. Um, just stick together, um, help the people who need who need uh, our help at the moment. And um, everyone tries to do his best, you know, to get out uh, of the situation. And um, that's, that's, I think, um, yeah, a really impressive message. Yeah, that sounds like fantastic work, Ilkay. Really, really well done. Um, going back to kind of how you've been spending your time, I've been spending a lot of time watching Netflix and, and you said you have. Do you have any recommendations for the City fans of what they could be, they could be watching during the evening? Uh, I think in just a few days, uh, the, the, the fourth season of Money Heist will, uh, will, will come out on Netflix. So uh, I've watched the first, first three and um, I'm, just, I'm just waiting for that one right now. And... Um, I think it's it's a great uh, great show. Um, apart from that, I really like uh, Blacklist um, or even uh, Sherlock Holmes. So, uh, but I've watched them already, so I, I, I'm not going to start them again. Uh, so at the moment, I'm just waiting for for Money Heist. Before you go, there, Nilkai, can you have you got a message to the City fans? Because obviously they've had their main love and their main passion kind of taken away from them for a, for a period of time. Um, have you got anything you'd like to just say to them before we leave? I mean, I, I know that it's, it's a hard and difficult time right now and uh, we can't wait to get back on the pitch, to get back on the stands, you know, um, yeah, to celebrate goals together, to, be, to celebrate uh, being successful together. But um, we have a responsibility right now and our responsibility is uh, to make sure that um, everyone um, is as safe as possible. So uh, please, guys, don't leave your houses. Stay at home as, um, as recommended, you know. Um, take care of each other. Take care of your families and your friends, you know. Uh, appreciate that you, that you have this time right now at home um, with your loved ones. Um, and then um, I'm sure that uh, we're gonna be back. Uh, we're gonna be back all together, um, as I said before, enjoying this beautiful game, and and seeing each other again. And um, I know we can't wait for that, but now um, it's the time to be patient, and uh, yeah, to wait for the moment. Fantastic, Ilkay. Honestly, we really appreciate you joining us today, and and we hope to no see you back on the field soon. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye bye. Take care.